Um, taking into account all of the we heard um, from my colleagues uh, here, Abanero faced a, a challenge to enter this market about six years ago as a solely, solely online uh, supplier. So we don't have any land-based history at all, and uh, Italy presented a number of challenges, of course, being so heavily uh, somewhat tied to a certain land-based legacy, especially back in the, in the day. Um, at the same time, there was, we found there to be quite an appetite for new online content. Um, we did notice a certain push um, of the online market towards some, um, you know, a, a hunger for, uh, for, for growth and a diversification of the content, of the product um, and on the, of the offering. Um, what we've seen, we, we were a bit lucky that that we entered Italy um, about three years before COVID, because uh, if we had entered just before COVID, probably that, that wouldn't have been a very successful story for us. Um, we did manage to um, establish ourselves online before uh, COVID broke. And what we have seen during COVID uh, inevitably has been um, uh, growth, certainly, on the online, uh, on, on our segment. And, and a remarkable change in um, player behavior, our player behavior, and whatever we, we were used to. Um, so we have seen, for example, um, a growth in player numbers, a reduction in player value, um, a, a, number, a number of uh, KPIs and developments that made us understand that there was uh, an effect um, in action, and the effect was exposure to a number of players that would have no idea of our content before, before the shops got shut down. Um, <clears throat> so what we've seen since things have normalized um, is um, a relative return to normal in terms of what our KPIs look like, um, yeah, on what you would expect in an online space. Um, and at the same time, uh, what, what we are trying to do as a supplier that has over 100 games certified for the Italian market is to try and look at ways to leverage um, the discussions about multi-channel exposure um, and multi-channel environment um, as an online supplier. We did experience something really interesting when uh, when uh, when the shops uh, when when the when the advertising ban came into effect in 2019, it was effective in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, in as much as we produced the game with one of our partners, that uh, uh, one of our land-based partners, um, multi-channel partner with, with a remarkable number of shops in, um, in the country, and also an important online space, we produced a game that's, that's um, that is based on a very popular Italian card game. And um, the idea behind this was to be able to advertise this game in shops as a presence, although we do not have a retail presence. However, the partner uh, did exploit the presence of shops in order to create uh, attention around this game, which taps into the Italian culture, the general Italian culture. It's a, it's a card game that's not perceived as gambling. It's the sort of thing that grandparents play with the children. Uh, it's called Scopa. Many of you would probably know it, but you're probably Italian yourselves. So um, that, that was a really remarkable experiment for us, and, and it was extremely successful. Um, but the same token, what we're looking at doing at the moment, we were trying to uh, uh, exploit the possibility of, uh, of uh, legal um, developments in the past few years, where there is an opportunity for uh, for, a, for an online supplier like ourselves to penetrate the retail space within the BLT space. And we are looking at this with extreme interest and uh, utmost priority because we are extremely uh, conscious of the fact that uh, the development towards a multi-channel um, multi environment, a, a real omnichannel environment, for the reasons that have been um, exposed earlier, is absolutely key for the growth within this um, very promising market, effectively. The online space is, is, is expected to keep growing for, for, for reasons that appear obvious to me.